Okay, we're going to do this one again. It's Chris says it's uh, Chestnut Heritage Preserve. Chestnut Ridge Heritage Preserve. We we did this one uh, six months ago. About yeah, we did it with Kim. That was her first time out with us. Yeah, and we did not do any uh, shooting at all. I'm just maybe some I pictures. Got, I got some stills I can send you. Okay, okay, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to shoot this one. This one. My memory's getting bad, but now all these trails are just slurring together. But I remember this one being really a uh, pretty trail, good good trail. Yeah, it's too. a nice, I mean, it's a nice out and back. Like, you don't want to spend the whole day kind of, you know, three miles out, three miles back. Some good climbs, pretty view out by the river. It's just, you know. And we're also looking at probably around dinner time. It's just after nine. We're looking at some showers moving in. Yeah, so we gotta, yeah. eventually we're going to get soaked Wet. out here. We're <laughs> prepared for it. <laughs> we're prepared for it. Uh, but uh, and it might be today. So we're going to get started. This trail here, you can tell a lot of people hit this one. They keep it packed down. Yeah. We took a picture right here, I believe. Yeah. I took a portrait picture of you and Kim. So, I'm trying to try out my new hoodie. I, uh, I've been going to these sporting stores. I like the lightweight material. I do, uh, I, a lot of the stuff that I'd looked at had hoodies on it and I thought, who wants to wear a hoodie in the woods? Until I started walking around my house here this past week and the gnats just ate me up. I was having to make a hoodie with my bandana and I thought, that's why that people probably like a hoodie. So I went back and this is my Father's Day present from Tyler and Brittany. They sent me a Dick Sporting Goods and I run right in there and grab me one of these lightweight long sleeve shirts with a hoodie. And of course, right now, there hadn't been a gnat around me, <coughs> but I'm prepared. <laughs> Decision time here. Do we know where we're going? Wow. That's a That's a heck of a first step. Probably a well. This is first step. Okay. I had forgot about this trail. So I was just discussing with Chris, sometime between now and school going back, our plan is to do a, our first overnight. We had talked about doing one in Davidson River and then hiking to Art Lobe to what? what uh, I think that's Chestnut. Chestnut, yeah, that's Chestnut Mountain and do that as a, which is considered a hard out and back. And I really like Jones Gap a lot. Jones Gap is like, to me, it's nobody from North Carolina, as close as I am to Jones Gap, uh, not many people talk a lot about what is actually in that area. And there's some great uh, trails and that hike along the river Jones Gap 
it's um, what middle Saluda yeah, middle River. I mean, it's like for North Carolina, South Carolina, that's some of the most scenic hiking. But we're we're talking about going back to we got to do rim of the gap, do the whole thing that we started that one hike. It's going to be kind of like the return of the dismal trail is we, we had the hard part on paper. We had the hard part done and, uh, we turned right around and went back. And, uh, I don't think neither one of us were happy with it. it we, let's put it this way. We left something undone. I'm not getting any younger. And uh, we got to strike while the iron's hot. So we're thinking our our out and back's going to be uh, uh, overnight. We're going to maybe go up, do gear up, do that uh, rim of the gap, come back down the mountain, uh, stay overnight, and then do, get up and do a easy hike the next day. For me. Uh, when I do what's considered a real hard hike, and for me, that's a real hard hike. It's, uh, it's over 2,000 feet. It was tough. Uh, the guy that to told us to turn around and go back, he was probably going by what, how blue my face was <laughs> at the time. And, uh, but we're, I, for hikes like that, I'd do better if I just lay around and watch TV the day before and drink plenty of liquid IV. So that may be, hopefully in the next month, we'll be able to cross that off. So, yeah. Slick green rock. This is where we ate lunch, wasn't it? Was it here or down there? neat you're gonna have to add into the final cut the name of this because i cannot remember what this is this has got a name uh -huh. how many people you reckon have hiked over there and got on top of that rock oh, man. Man, 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 man. You, you know you, you see you see this and this is beautiful but like, this is one spot, like what you were saying earlier, like Jones Gap is just mile after mile of this. Or, yeah. But better. Yeah, it's like literally every 15 yards there's one of these spots on Jones Gap right along the middle Saluda.
we are going to start back up the mountain. We'll be under a canopy most of the way, but it, we just started getting a little bit of rain, so I may have to ditch this gimbal here in a little while. Speaking of post and edit, this might be our first. I'm fixing to give a movie review. Maybe our first. I don't know whether we've done this before, but I just recently crushed on Netflix uh, a mini series, probably 10, 12 episodes. It's called The Offer. Anybody that is a godfather enthusiast like I am will immediately get encapsulated, I think is the word. I've never used that word. I've read it and never used it. But uh, very, very good story, good uh, there's several actors in there that just crush it uh, but it's basically a movie about the making of the godfather movie so all of the machinations going on behind the scenes that took place during up to the shoot all the producers uh, the actors getting them on board uh, the behind the scenes politics that were going on at Gulf Western uh, all that stuff I'm assuming it's true I think that uh, this story was t told by written by the, the fella that was the producer his name was Ruddy and excellent excellent acting uh, cinematography's great uh, the story's great uh, highly highly recommend it I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I'm assuming that this one hasn't the cycle hadn't come up where this the offer would be considered for awards but I'm going to say that this one's going to win uh, in several categories. So that's Hogback Mountain. You might be able to see there's a tower. Chris thinks it might be WL. I, it's not SBA. WSBA. It's, uh, I think it's CBS affiliated out of Spartanburg. Yeah. And I think there's some other people that use the tower as well. But. The Hogback Mountain that I'm used to is I used to, up at Sapphire, North Carolina, there's a mountain around the Sapphire area before you get to Cashiers, Cashier, Cashiers, Cashiers. Uh, there's one called Hogback Mountain. Uh, that's probably by the crow flies, probably 25 miles from here probably about 50 if you have to drive it 40 40 if you have to drive it oh yeah I'm gonna burn off some little Debbie cakes today 
I didn't expect it. There's no way you held this pace six months ago. I mean, this ain't a dismal trail, but it's a pretty good incline. Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm just not slowing down. That was a nice little much needed break for me. Huh? We still got some more, don't we? Yeah, not very much. That was the big one coming out of that river. That puffy shirt uh, episode of uh, reminds me of. Whenever I think I was a senior, there was about five or six of us senior guys. We decided we were gonna take home Eck as just to have a fun time. We didn't want to learn, you know, we were all just figure we'd get in there and clown around, have a good time. And uh, it's one of the only A's that I ever got in my life. Yeah, especially in the uh, last two years of high school. It was, uh, I did really well at that. I think I was the only one out of those senior guys, but I remember uh, that we had to, now this is back in the late 70s, but we had to go get us a pattern, buy the material, and uh, and sew at school, make, make some kind of a piece of clothing. And I made a big puffy shirt had big puffy sleeves, had gathers across the front of it, uh, which was a very advanced stitch that my, that was not a beginner type technique, but I ended up, uh, and it was made out of Muslim. Muslim, 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 I think that's the name of the material. It was like, burlap in a way but it looked neat it looked like circa 1700 big puffy big damn it puffy shirt <laughs> So I've done one first today. I did a little bit of movie review and I wanna do, I think it's our first shout out. My first shout out, I wanna do a shout out to my sister and brother-in-law, Rita Whitlock and Jim Whitlock. I don't know why, but she always tells me that she enjoys these videos and uh, so I just want to tell, tell them we, we miss them, love them, and I hope you enjoy this boring hike. <laughs> no, it's been nice. It's been a workout. But uh, it's just something about getting out here. I know nobody else probably will ever want to watch these videos, but uh, it's fun to get out here and push yourself. And, and, uh, and this is... Hey, it'll be here 50 years from now. My great great grandkids uh, be able to watch these and they'll be able to realize, oh, that's where I got my hairline. I got it from my granddad, my papa, Paul Paul. <laughs> we are what they call coming down the home stretch here. How long will we on this one? 
three hours. Three hour tour. My magic stuff. stats, I'll have to throw those up and, and then uh, do the magic slide rule and see how many little Debbie Swiss rolls I <laughs> got rid of. <laughs>